Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Car Designs. Thanks so much for stopping by to spend some time with me here today. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting, tutorials, and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. I'm Jenny. Welcome to Jenny Car Designs. Uh, I get so weirded out. Every time the camera comes on, I just I kind of freeze and I'm trying to smile extra and not look weird. I really struggle with the camera facing me. So I'm doing my best to try to bring you a little bit of a personal touch when I can, when my hair is not like whoo, crazy all over the place. So today's video, I'm going to be announcing something extra special. I am guest designing for Gina K Designs. Never in my life did I ever think that I would be announcing that. I really, um, I really love Gina K Designs. My very first stamp set, um, an ink pad that I received was from my husband. He ordered me for Christmas in 2016. 2016, my husband ordered my very first Gina K Designs stamp set and ink pad. And I loved her videos. I watched them all the time. Uh, everything I learned came from Gina K Designs or Jennifer McGuire. And then I just sort of evolved into my own style thereafter. But I have to give credit to those two ladies because, I mean, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you without their knowledge and their generosity to share what they know on YouTube for free for people like me and you to, you know, join this amazing world of card making. So for June 2020's release, I'll be guest designing for Genie K Designs. And uh, I've got a bunch of product inspiration for you. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea or coffee, whatever you'd like to do. If you want a glass of wine or a glass of milk, um, chill out, relax, put your feet up and enjoy the show. Let's get into today's project. First, let's look at some of the items that come in the new kit. I have the Gina K Designs stencil, the ornamental fans. I feel like I've seen this pattern on dishes from the 60s. It feels so retro. I love it. And then we've got the Hands of Love stamp set. And this has some beautiful hand images along with some nice sentiments. I love the font in this one. And then we have the natural silhouettes. These are some beautiful, realistic looking silhouettes of flowers and trees and such. And I think this is going to be really nice for, for ink blending backgrounds and scenes and such. And then we've got the best flowers. These are some really nice, beautiful, large, bold flowers with some pretty sentiments as well. And again, I like the font here for the happy and the best. It also comes with the dies for two of the large, bold flowers and all four of the leaves. It just doesn't have the, the die for the large floral image. So these are the products that I have out of the kit that I'm going to share inspiration with you today. I've got a bunch of card projects using these stamp sets. Let's take a look at some of the cards that I made. So since I made so many projects, I decided to split this video up into three parts. Each video will contain product inspiration for each of the individual stamp sets. So this video will start with the Hands of Love. I've got four projects using the Hands of Love stamp set to share with you. First, I wanna show you how I organize my stamps when I get new sets. I take my little stamp pocket and these are available at Gina K Designs. I will link in the description down below in the shopping section where you can find them. And then I use my label maker. You can use any label maker. You can even print from your computer and just glue it on. Now I put a piece of cardstock inside of my stamp pocket and then I use my little circle punch and I punch out a little finger notch where I can grab easily to open and close and I print off my label and I adhere that to my packaging. I file them with all of my other stamps. I store my stamps alphabetically, so I keep all of my G and K stamp sets together and then if I'm looking for something, I search for the name of the stamp. So now that's done, let's start working on this card project. So I've grabbed a set of layering heart dies that I have in my stash and I'm going to cut out a bunch of hearts and I also grabbed some Gina K Designs red velvet cardstock. 
I wasn't sure how much I needed at this point, so I just grabbed some scraps. I'm going to take my cardstock and cut out a bunch of these hearts, some red ones and some white ones, and then I'm going to do some stamping. I fell in love with this little hand image making a heart. I do this all the time, so I thought that was super cute and it was kind of like, I felt like it was made for me. So I wanted to make my very first card with, with those set of hands. So I've got the hands on the door of my Misty and my heart loaded up underneath my magnet. And I use Gina K Designs Obsidian Amalgam Ink. This is a nice dark black ink. And I'm going to stamp this a couple of times to make sure I get a good solid impression. And then I also stamped Love You on another heart. On another one I stamped with all my heart. And these are all greetings from the Hands of Love stamp set. And then I'm just going to use some foam squares and pop up some of my hearts here and there and scatter them around. And then I trim off any of the overhanging hearts off to the side. And that's it. Simple and pretty and really makes a statement. Here's a close up look at that finished card. I paired it with a red velvet envelope, which I thought was perfect. Okay, moving on to project number two, I'm going to be using the hands that are sort of holding something and the word hallelujah. So I grab some prickly pear cardstock. This color is so fun because depending on what you pair it with, it can look gold or yellow or brown. It just really depends on what you put next to it. Here I have my stencil book. This is where I keep all of my stencils and it's in these clear sort of page protectors. And this way, if you get anything sticky on it, it's not gonna affect your storage. It's gonna stay safe in there. So I'm going to grab this Sunrise stencil and I'm going to spray it with some pixie spray. This is a low tack repositionable adhesive. I do that first so that I can set it off to the side to dry a little bit and then I'll come back to it. So now here I'm cutting out my panel that I'm going to be ink blending on and then I grabbed another little scrap of white cardstock so I can cut a little circle. So my card base is A2 size. This is a half sheet of cardstock scored at four and a quarter to create a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. I'm gonna go over to my little hand and my circle die and I just want to position the sentiment and the hand within that circle die to make sure that everything gets lined up properly and I'm going to ink this all in one shot. So I get that into my Misty and I use my Obsidian Amalgam ink to stamp this and I do stamp it a couple of times. I'm just going to use my heat tool to dry this and then I cut another little circle out using the same prickly pear cardstock as my card base. I'll use some tape runner to adhere these two circles together. My stencil by this point is ready to position to my cardstock. I'm going to start ink blending from the center out. I start with the prickly pear ink and then I used my yellow ink blending brush on my sweet mango. Once I realized that mistake, I just used my microfiber cloth to wipe it off before I put my brush into my sweet corn ink. I was aiming for sort of a majestic looking background and I think I achieved that. I'm going to take a dry cloth and just wipe off any of that excess ink that might be sitting on top of my stencil and I'll just use the residual ink that's left on the brush. I'm not going to add any extra ink and I'm just going to soften that up a little bit and then I'm happy with that. So at this point I've adhered my little circles to the center of my ink blended panel and then I'm going to put this into the Misty and stamp the word hallelujah right on that ink blended panel. I adhered it down to my card base and then I really love the way this card turned out. It turned out exactly as I had envisioned it. I paired it with a shimmery envelope that I had in my stash and uh, that's it for this card. Okay, moving right along to card number three for the Hands of Love. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take a half sheet of cardstock and I'm gonna score it. Again, creating a A2 size card. I'm not gonna crease the fold yet. I'm going to take some post-it tape and sort of mask off my card base so that I can ink blend without getting anything on the back side of my card. So I'm going to ink blend and I use some bright colors here. I use Wild Dandelion, Passionate Pink, and blue raspberry and then I just ink blended and created this beautiful rainbow. So if you know anything about color theory you'll know about colors mixing together and the new colors that we formed. So here we end up with yellows, greens, blues, pinks, reds, purples, oranges. So I think with those three colors you can really create a beautiful looking rainbow. So my post-it tape 
failed miserably and my ink leaked to the back of my card. So I'm just gonna use my little electronic eraser here and just erase that away and then that worked out just fine. So I have this die cut here. This is a sort of three quarters of a circle. It's got a little flat edge on it. I think it's just fun, something a bit different and it has some stitching in it. So I just cut that out with some white cardstock and then I stamped these two hands. I stamped with Versamark ink so that I could heat emboss and I heat that until it's smooth and melted and then I grab my sentiment. Now this sentiment I printed just from my computer using my regular paint program. It was super easy. I just created a little rectangle of black and then typed in white letters over top. I used my paper trimmer to cut out my sentiment and then I grabbed an alcohol marker to color in the white on the sides of this cardstock to make it look like it's a solid black piece of cardstock. And it says, I washed my hands for this. I thought it was so fun. I thought these hands are up in the air as if they're clean and sterile and ready to go. The current life that we're all living in, we all washed our hands for this. So I thought that was fun. So I adhered my sentiment down to my hands and popped that up on my rainbow card. And then I used my white number eight jelly roll pen. And I just went through and made some little star details and sort of to make it look like sparkly clean. Here is a close-up look at the finished card project. All right, moving on to card number four. This is the last card that I have for this stamp set. I have one more fun sentiment that I typed out and I'll share that with you when we get to adhering it to the card project. I grabbed my two hands stamp. I used the acetate backing sheet so I could position this on my cardstock so I could move it around easily to get it in the angle that I wanted. And then I used some of my posty tape. I just reused one that I had used earlier and covered up one of my hands. And then I inked that up and stamped just one of the hands. And now I'm going to move over to the stencil again, the ornamental fans, and I grabbed three colors of Gina K Designs ink to do some ink blending. I've got Wild Dandelion, Christmas Pine, and In the Navy. I think that combination together creates a very masculine feel. I think it's kind of super fun. And these fans kind of made me feel a little bit retro, so I, I felt like that color combination really suited the ornamental fans. So I've gone ahead and blended my panel, starting with the yellow in the center and working my way out. I didn't spray this stencil with pixie spray, so I'm sure giving those little pieces of post-it tape will work out. So I just take whatever ink is left on my brush, the residual ink, and just go over the background just so that that stark white cardstock doesn't sort of distract from the fun image that I've got here. And then I adhered that down to a black panel. And now I'm going to cut out my little hand. I have a couple of rectangle dies that have some stitching on them. And I'm just gonna cut out my hand and layer that on a little black rectangle as well so we get a dimensional look. I use some foam tape to pop up my hand and I just wanna figure out my placement. Once I settle with that, I'm going to grab my card base. I decided to use the Wild Dandelion because I sort of lost the center color that I wanted more yellow, but it kind of got eaten by the green. So I decided to bring the yellow into the card base. So I like the way that looks. And now let's do the sentiment. So the sentiment I have for this one says, consider this. Now I did the exact same thing as before in the paint program on my computer. I did a black rectangle. I use an alcohol marker to just cover up those sides so that we get a nice solid looking piece that looks like black cardstock. Okay, so the fun part for this card, the inside says, a socially distanced high five. So this card is complete. Consider this a socially distanced high five. I really like that. I thought it was super fun and really playful. Here's a close up look at the finished card. So here's a look at all four of the cards that I made with this stamp set, The Hands of Love. You can find this stamp at GinaKDesigns.com. Links are in the description below. I have a ton of cards to share with you. Coming up on screen is a playlist for the rest of the card projects for this card kit. Thanks for spending time with me here today. I hope that you'll check out the next videos in this series. Have yourself a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!